So something I thought I'd kind of make a video about is there's a lot of people who are into lucid dreaming. They say they have like a critical mindset and they're able to question things, right? I mean, that's kind of the foundation of lucid dreaming is being able to question and criticize and interpret things that might not be what they seem. You know, that's kind of the foundation of lucid dreaming is being able to question your reality. But what I find really interesting is that there's a lot of people who are interested in lucid dreaming. They, you know, call themselves a lucid dreamer, but they're not able to question narratives and the way things are presented to them when it comes from mainstream media. And I find this very strange change because without going too much you know down the rabbit hole I don't tend to talk about this stuff too much on this channel anyway um, but there's a huge chasm between what we're told is going on and what is actually going on so when you kind of blindly listen to the media you tend to lose grip on the reality of what's actually happening the truth of what's actually happening and you become kind of enclosed in this bubble this kind of safe I guess you could say safe comfortable bubble where you think you know what's going on based on what the media are telling you but the truth is you have absolutely no idea what's going on and it's vastly different to what they're telling you is the case and i find this very interesting because it's almost like a religion in a sense like a cult-like religion where there's this mindset that if it's on the tv it must be true if there's a video of it happening it must that must be a real video there's no way it could have been faked or staged or acted no way right but the fact is that there are, I mean, I can't use certain keywords because the um, censorship, which is another issue here, but there are things, there are structures and, and uh, methods for creating fake videos, you know? And in, other, in uh, history, this has been called propaganda. When you create like a fake convincing video to try and shift someone's belief from one thing to the other, or to gain support for a particular thing. So I just find this interesting, and I thought I'd ask you in, you know, in the comments section below, do you question things outside of the mainstream media do you actually you know analyze and question what you're being told is true or do you kind of do you assume that if it's coming from an authority or you know uh, an authority that where they consider themselves an authority do you consider that as true just because they're an authority or do you actually question and ask ask questions and research things yourself i'm very curious to hear because um i think my audience here is divided into two you know half of them would would be that type of person you know who question things and see through the nonsense and uh, uh, the propaganda and, and whatever but then I think there's a big chunk of people who don't question things. They haven't tried or thought about questioning things. And they assume that whatever the current thing is, you know, whether it's the COVID thing or whether it's the Ukraine thing or really anything that's going on in the, the, the mainstream media is telling you, here's what's happening. Here's what you should think about that. And it's really just this bubble because when you look outside of that, it's absolutely different to what they're saying is happening. But, you know, I thought I'd ask you what you think about this. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think.